Um, and the next thing I need to do now is just highlight, I don't know, all of this and bring it down a little bit. So we'll type N and then P and create a sub patch. I'm going to type in N inlet. Cool. Get rid of this. Although it was a number anyway, so that's what we're looking for now. Display and output a number. That's what we want. Connect it. Boom. Next thing we're going to do is a equals zero zero. So n equals equals zero. Boom. Connect it. The next thing we're going to do is a toggle switch. So n and then type in tog to get that toggle. We don't have to put in any inputs for that number or this toggle. And then below the toggle, we're going to hit NSEL1 suite. Below that, we're going to type in a button, NBUT button, yes. And then below the button, N outlet. Yes. And then I'm just going to connect all these. Come on. Sweet. Okay, and then there's one more thing we need to do here, and we need to write a message from the button into the outlet. So, well, it's not the button, it's usually the toggle. So, I'm going to write N message. And then I'm going to click to give me a message. And I'm going to come inside the message, and I'm going to title active. Dollar sign one. And um, for a while there, I was having problems. And the reason why was because I typed in activate here and not active. Inside this message, the text in here is very important because this is scripting language that um, Max understands. So you need to make sure you type that stuff right. Um, if you type it wrong and type in activate like I had before, you won't be able to actually... Um, You'll still be able to use the time delay, and you'll still be able to use the sync delay, but toggling between them will not deactivate the other one. So we need to do that. So now we're going to come out of the toggle, into activate, out of the activate, into the out here, which looks good. We should be all set. And the next thing we need to do is select all of those, hold down Alt, and drag over. Sweet. And then we're going to come out of... Pretty sure out of the number into this one, boom, and align because I liked it. Okay, now if I lock this and change this number from 0 to 1, we should get an X and we should see one of these buttons light up. Oops. So 1, it knocked off this, so we're going to go to output 1. And it let you know by banging that. And if I go down to zero, whoops, it's going to knock this off and it's going to come out this one. So there we go. That's looking good. That's exactly what we need. And if we look over here, we should also see some things changing when we change this activate. So I'm going to lock over here as well. And if we look now, if we watch over here on this side, ah, uh, zero. Oh, nothing is happening because I haven't routed it over here. I apologize, so let's come in and do that real quick. I'm going to bring my patcher all the way over because I need to... Um, and I'm going to type activate in here. And I'm going to come out of the activator into the time. And out of here into there. And out of here into here. Now when I come in and change this, we should see some action over here. Yeah, and we do. Um, so yeah, it's highlighting here, and then if I change it to zero, this is now highlighted and this is deactivated. So if I lock it down, maybe it will... Yeah, you can see how it's changing, can't you? And then if I come in here, you can see that it's changing. It's a sync is activated, now it's deactivated, and then time is activated. So we've successfully done it and we've known that by locking it and playing with the parameters 
just to make sure. And you can see it if I'm hitting this, it's still banging over here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close these. I'm going to hit save. And uh, you can see that my presentation is not pretty, so I'm going to come into presentation mode. And what I'm going to do is unlock so I can move stuff around. I'm going to make it look nice like this. Make it look nice right here, line it right up, and sync right about there. And that should be good. And there it looks. Looks good. Save one more time. I'm going to exit out of there, and hopefully it looks good. Uh, sync is on. These are active. Time is on. These are act this is active. So let's go ahead and see if it works. I should be on a time delay now. Ah, and okay, does anyone know what happened here? I forgot to set my parameters right on the the dial. So I gotta come back in one more time and come into inspector and come into the range, which is down here. Right now I'm only going zero to 127, which is a 16th, almost a 16th note. So, well, it's just above a 16th note rather, 125 is a 16th note. So I'm gonna come into two seconds, which inside of Max Live is 2000, and then hit enter and then close out of here and then save and then close and now I should be able to have a better yeah and now I'm gonna come into synced and let's see what we got But you can notice that the time not, dial is not, is not changing anything. And if I switch it to time, I'll switch through these, and you'll also notice that this is not doing anything when time is active. So there we go. That's pretty sweet, huh? Um, this is a much more effective tool. I mean, this is useful. Now, and I'm very excited about it. Um, the next tutorial, I think I'm going to get into more of patching because I think for something like a dry wet, most devices use a dry wet. So I'm going to see about making a patch or a sub patch rather that then we, we can then take and copy and paste into our new devices without having to go through the sub patch every time. Uh, these are just ideas I'm playing around with. I know that the next version of the delay line will have separate controllers for the right and the left channel. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that uh, with this script um, because uh, it just looks a little messy and I'd have to duplicate a lot. There might be a better way to do it. I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out. And of course, I'll let you guys know when I have something for you. Anyway, rate, subscribe, comment. Um, hit me up on Facebook if you have questions. And uh, we'll see you next time.